All right, welcome to my video on how to create an auxiliary view in AutoCAD. Uh, one of my students asked me to put this together, so I'm more than happy to do that for him. And so this is actually my second attempt because uh, another person out there on the internet, uh, on-site ranger, pointed out to me my points were wrong. So I'm going to re-record this uh, for you guys all to enjoy. So the first thing um, in our steps in our process to create an auxiliary views is to label all your points on your incline surface. So I'll just use the text command to do that. And I'm going to come over here to the right view and set my text height to be a half an inch. And I'm going to create points A, B, C, and D. And when I do it, I just do it in a clockwise direction. You can go counterclockwise, you can use numbers, but use some kind of reasoning as to how you create those points. So I do that over here in the right view. I'm going to assign those to a different layer. So I'll just put those on the points one layer. And then I'm just going to copy them to the other views. And then this time, I'm going to do it correctly. And just take care that you get them in the right spot. So in this location, we've got point A, B, and down here, we've got point D, C. There we go. That looks a lot better. So after we get our points labeled in all of our views, the next thing is to draw a reference line. So I'm going to draw a reference line here in the right view. And I just want my reference line to come above my view somewhere and to go down below my view somewhere. And the reason why I know I can put my reference line in this location is because what I'm looking for is in the right view, I'm looking for a line that is shorter than what it is in real life. So this distance from point A to D, if I measure that, in this view, it's 3.6, but I know in real life that the true distance between A and D is 5.2695. So I'm looking for that, that line that's shorter in real life. So A to D is shorter, so I want my reference line to be parallel to that line. So I'm going to draw it through AD. Our other standard is we want that reference line to go through as many points as possible. So it goes through two points here. I could have also drawn it through BC but it still only goes through two points. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that reference line right where it's at, put on a reference line layer, and label it as being my reference line. Okay. So after I get that, then it's time for a reference line that's parallel to my incline surface. This gives me a start for my auxiliary view. So to draw it, I just want to make sure my parallel object snap is turned on. Come in here to my graphics area, and again, I just want a point that's going to be somewhere above AB. So I'll click there, come down here, I'm going to hover over the line I want my reference line to be parallel to. Then when I move away, you'll see AutoCAD snap in, and it shows that it's being parallel. So if I were to click here, it'd be parallel to that edge, which is what I want. And again, just come somewhere down past DC and click another point. Go ahead and label this as being my reference line. And then I'm just going to put all this on that reference line layer. Okay. So now that I've got that stuff, now it's time to finish out this auxiliary view. So the first thing is to locate where point A is. So for that, I'm going to use a construction line. So XL is the construction line command. I'm going to use the angular option, and I'm going to reference this edge. So I want my projection line to be at a right angle to that edge. So when it says inner angle, type in 90 degrees. I'll draw that through point A, B. I will also go ahead and do it through point D, C at the same time too. Now I can start placing points. So I'll do the point command PO and click on that intersection of my reference line and my projection line. And you'll notice the point doesn't show up. So if you type in PD mode, you can use anything from a 0 to a 4 here. So I'll just use a 2, and that gives me a little cross. And then also if you zoom in, you'll see that the size of that cross doesn't change. But if you type REA, it gets smaller. 
And if you zoom way out, you can't see it, you type REA again. That's because the size of that point is being controlled by a variable called PD size. So if you type in PD size, and if you always want it to be the same size, then you'll put a value in here. If you want it to change size based on how far in or out you're zoomed, you'll leave it at zero. I'll just go ahead and change mine to be 0.5. And we want those to be an eighth inch when printed, so you can control those um, for your particular scale when you go to print them off. So I've got a point. I'll go ahead and put it on my points layer. So I'll use points 1A. I will go ahead and copy that down here as well. Because that's going to be point D. So I've got point A up here. I've got point D down here. And now the last thing is to find out where point B is in here. So to do that, I use the offset command. So just type in O for offset. And then I'm going to click two points on my screen, and AutoCAD is going to measure the, the distance between them. So I want to start at my reference line. I'm going to reference point B. And where those two points come together, that straight line horizontal distance, that's what I want. So I will click right there. And then I offset this reference line that distance. And then that's where point B will be. Point C will be down here. So I'll put point B right there. Point C right here. And then it's a matter of just cleaning this up and using the polyline command. Polyline command so that I can actually draw this surface. And then it just makes it easier for me to be able to measure the area, which is what I'll do next. So the, to measure the area, I type in area, hit enter. I'm going to measure the area of an object. So I'm going to go down here and click on object, select that polyline. And so there it gives me the area and the length of this polyline. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll be done. All right, so all that I've done is just shorten up my construction lines. I put them on the projection line layer. I shortened up my offset line, put it on the offset line layer, put my points for my auxiliary view all on the same layer. So just kind of tried to organize things. And then I went through and made sure all my points are correct as far as A, B, C, and D. So this is what you have. I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope it, is, it helps you to create auxiliary views in AutoCAD. Thanks for watching.